Oh, you know, I wonder if uh, Mobius is a card that I want. He says, looking at Elysium, probably. Can see that being better than Jeff. Zero lizard, some type of shree thing, maybe? Shang-Chi. I don't think I can snap without the Shang. Snap on the Angela draw, maybe? Snap. A solid right side here. should expect them to play Enchantress on the right. Enchantress on the right would put them to 20. I would be going to 10, 17, more than 20. In the center, I will be at uh, 7, 12. And on the left side here, I will be at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And 26. Yeah, that seems good for us. Casual one nine and one ten, not bad. Victory. The better Elysium deck that they are here. If we don't draw Kitty next turn, we could draw her with Mindstone, I suppose. What's the purpose of Blade in this deck? To help you empty your hand for a strong guy on the last turn.
don't have a particularly aggressive start here. It's fine. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Just going to muse. Where did I want to put strong guy? But drawing Angela means I want to want to play here. I think. Much smaller than theirs. Escaped. Why well, haven't put Shank in your deck if you're never gonna draw it? I often ask myself that question. This just in. She has gone into hiding after a second did her nerf to the cat. It's fair, honestly. I'd request witness protection if I was him. Fight Barry out next turn, then. Actually, I'd go ahead and put Lizard in the center here so that way, if they want to Enchantress their Lizard's downside, they have to also get rid of ours. Yeah, I got you, Stevie. having Sarah on curve so far, which is nice. Mysterio's the best draw on our deck here. This Twitch stream is pre-recorded, etc, etc. Yeah, but it doesn't keep them honest in the Shuri path, which I would like to do. This could be an angle where we just stack 
a bunch of stats into Crown City here. Just Angela into Bishop on curve. So, I think in a different matchup, you would snap this hand based on our linear strength. However, our linear draw is significantly worse than the opponent's deck's linear draw. So I do not think we could snap here just based on the texture of our hand. We have to snap based on whether or not we have key interactive cards and what our opponent's hand looks like past that. That makes sense. Now, no Shuri, no armor. I think we can snap them. Basically, give us Shang, please. Yes, that. Snap. Bad. So I'm going to play out six cards and then Angela gets plus two or plus four if I play two to the center. So I'm passively getting plus 10 in the middle up to 18. And then if I do this, it gets me to 28. I don't think they could reasonably commit more to the center that dies to Shang. So I think there's a chance the sprint is good. Blade. Uh, the blade versus the kitty doesn't matter because this is one or less now. But sure, this is technically correct. We're hoping to see nothing played in the middle. <laughs> Perfect. Strong guy's stupid chuckle gets me every time. And we win regardless of the danger or outcome because we're going to be winning Crown City here. Victory. It was a solid game. I think the, the big thing that stands out in my mind from these games is like, how competitive we were against their numbers in the games where we didn't draw Shang. Like, obviously, Shang would have been an easy button there and we wouldn't have had to think about it. But our deck, our deck was capable of pumping out competitive stats to keep up with what they were doing. Jeff draw. Got a pretty solid opener here. Titan's potentially better for them than us, but we don't have any sixes and they could. God split Jeff the baby land shark. Holy. That's probably also better for them than us. Bishop, I think, makes them slightly less likely to have other cards that get into Sanctum. Do we put them on also being a Shang deck? If so, do I play this here to help Angela duck it? Yeah, probably. 
It is Marvel Snap after all. What's going on, Stevie? Thanks for the year and a half. Welcome back. Okay, so definitely a Shag deck, but also a pseudo here. Obviously not exactly the same, because they're playing Hope. We have eight energy this turn. Yikes. new sponsored link for the AFK game tomorrow. If you want to support my stuff by checking it out. I think I'm staying. I have a lot of numbers here. If they have more energy than we do, but I have big numbers. You want to Shang left? Yeah, I guess there's a good chance we kill the bishop, yeah? But if I Shang, I can't strong guy. I'm gonna strong guy. Probably wrong, but more fun. Yeah, I should have just assumed they were greedy. We won because they messed up their Mysterios. If they would have put the real Mysterio here, they would have had a three power one here because of DC and they missed it. We're up by 12, they're up by 11. They missed three points of power. Holy. Actually, actually skill-based gaming. Listen, chat, some people haven't split Mysterio 27 times. You gotta cut them some slack. They're still learning. Second dinner going to fix spotlight caches. All right, chat. How many, are you ready for? Is everybody at home ready for a cold hard truth? If you do not have enough collector's tokens to buy US Agent, he is too terrible of a card for you to spend spotlight caches on. Save your resources. So yeah, it'll be nice when they fix the thing that's broken eventually, but also they're doing you a favor. Please stop and try to listen. Oh, people are cracking spotlights for Jeff. I forgot Jeff was in there. Carry on, may you open Jeff before you open US Agent. Good luck, good luck Godspeed. Jeff and Mirage are both good cards. Yeah, but you shouldn't be opening for Mirage.
All right, the real question here is, do they have a five power, Jeff? my boy that's fine I wasn't gonna empty my hand anyways jokes on you all right so there are Jeff moves here they go down to 12 what do we think is the biggest card in their deck because my hit monkey is six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm adding 14, 22, 20. I'm going to 25 here. There's no way they beat that. Zero, zero percent. It's like Max or Gladiator, yeah? I'm going to 25, which beats Gladiator with the Elsa bonus. Red Hulk. Red Hulk has it popped up on my screen. Red Hulk. Red Hulk would win them the game, though. Red Hulk would be plus 13. It would be 25 to 25, and they're winning the left by uh, two. Yeah, we beat that. Wait, they also gave two to Angela. <laughs> We were winning the breaker regardless, but. They probably just realized we were gonna beat them on the breaker, or maybe they didn't. Maybe they maybe they didn't realize. They are they are a new Mysterio gamer. Copies of Jeff. I actually think I don't. Yeah, Bar Sinister is another location that could get them with Mysterio. That's accurate. right to play blade to this turn just because shag's likely not to have text i guess there's i guess there's a reality where uh this is free right i'll take a sentinel it doesn't cut me off a draw
Skinny right. No, I want the most points possible on the right because we're not winning the center. What am I missing? Why is more than one person suggesting Kitty Wright? Are we are we not seeing her stats? It says this is the abandoned center play. Which chat? Mysterio, right? We get hit monkey here, we're dead. I assume we lost the right here. Kill is a good one to be aware of. Yeah, we're only getting four uh, and ten and going up to fourteen here. I guess their real Mysterio could be somewhere else, but that seems unlikely. Must be hit monkey. Wait, is the real Mysterio really somewhere else? Holy Victory. Ah yes, 2100 Jeff the Baby Land Shark boosters. Just like we threw it up. All right, can we close out another infinity ticket with Sarah Strong game? Which you know said the infinite ticket chat is Bobby Law. Oh, snap. Opponent snapped. Watch that be Mr. Negative. to draw a card there, but that definitely could have been worse. I don't think you're winning left. I mean, there's an Enchantress in my deck. Don't, count, don't write me off yet, coach. They can't just like juke me by putting the apocalypse on the board as well. Which is nice. Yeah, the Mysterios are all too power if I wanted to play them. I 
this is my inclination. Just like spread out and play for all three. It's hosed by Modoc though. I guess if I would have Enchantress Center, we could have won. No, Enchantress Center wouldn't have gotten it either because we would have gone down to 12 to 12 here. I could have mysterio instead of Enchantress. Myster Mysterio instead of Enchantress would have been plus six in the middle. And honestly, Mysterio instead of Enchantress would have made it so... Um, would have beaten Modoc too, right? Because they would have been 20 and I would have been 22. Yeah, that was that was the play. We should have played. We should have played Mysterio. Oh, that's new. You you can press and hold on a card. Even ones in your hand? Yeah, the one in your hand doesn't do anything, but on the board, on the board it emotes them. I must have gotten added in the in the last patch. Oh, you could also, if you're on PC, you can right click as well for quick, quick actions. Long press, long press or right click. Neat. Let's buy let's buy a couple more with this. I've enjoyed I've enjoyed this deck so far. We could have beaten even their good draw there with a slightly different line at the end. So when they tease new card reaction emotes, they were teased to be part of the character mastery thing that's coming up. So hopefully that'll get added here soon. Uh, the Loki emote's in my shop, but I don't intend to buy it. I will, I will buy the Miss Minutes emote when that one rotates through if it's in there, and I bought the Beast one, but that's about all I want. Specific matchups with Enchantress. Yeah, ones that have ongoing cards in their deck. Question is, 
use that Twitch chat. Maybe I'm supposed to, I, maybe I should have played the blade out. Them having all their power into this path on movers is really strong. We're taking it for Zabu, obviously. Yeah. I've been watching for four games and she hasn't hit anything impactful yet. I think it's funny that you thought adding a sample size of four to your statement added credibility to it as opposed to just making me roll my eyes more. <laughs> Well, Jeff, you see here, the tech card hasn't been useful in near on four games. Why are you, why are you even playing it? All right, Silk 50-50 to win the game, gamers. Unlucky rubber ducky. Viking Red Hulk. The number one mistake that people make when working on and playing Marvel Snap decks is they, is they regularly make changes to their deck after every single game they play to adjust the interactive cards that they are playing based on the deck they just played against. And that's one of the singular worst ways to approach the game in general. Yeah, with Red Hulk, I should have only put one card in the middle, and I should have put one to the left. We could have played around that Silk Swing. I should have. I should have gone Blade right, six power middle, six power left. Oh snap! Opponent snapped. That's not really a thing that's limited to, to Marvel Snap either. In Magic the Gathering, it was very common that people would suggest you change your sideboard cards to play into whatever matchup you just played into. People have a, a hard time seeing the forest through the trees. The, the meta game when people refer to it is essentially whatever is the last three or four decks they played into. With our start not having any of our cheap cards in it and White Pals giving us an extra card, I assume this is just gonna be a 3-3, unfortunately. Lockdown's probably an atrocious matchup for us if I had to venture, I guess. first match that we played that it didn't feel like we had the agency in all the others we played it felt like they've had a lot of back and forth this deck having a bad lockdown matchup is pretty expected though you probably have like some games where you like have bishop on curve that are fine but especially when we don't do anything to start hard time keep it up If your mobile client is laggy, try and have it download all assets in advance in your settings. There's a lot of new things in this patch and your phone is basically doing two things at once. Essentially, Snap is letting you try and play the game while it downloads things in the background. The super giant a card now? No, Jack. <laughs> it's, it's not. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Getting the is uncommon card a card now after explaining the meta game is not just the last match you just played into. It's just, it's, it's, it's just peak Twitch chat. 
<laughs> we, we, we just talked about this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Chad, I need to be able to breathe. Come on. Whew. in the average deck opening on these. So I think I'm just playing her out and then we'll go like Shang plus Kitty next turn. This is probably like a pseudo mirror. So I should expect Shang out of them as well. This is the problem, Jeff. I'm only half done with this sentence and now I've forgotten why I wrote it. Do I want to play around Miss Marvel or do I want to play around Shang-Chi? I think the answer is Shang-Chi. Left a card right though, which we lose to. We are definitely a dog to someone playing Mobius in the pseudo mirror. against us. All right, let's jam one more, and then I got a bounce, givers. I mean, the adjustment today to Eliath is potentially the biggest change they could have made to potentially make Supergiant be relevant. Supergiant has meaningfully disruptive elements into decks that, that people play. It's just she also gets shit on by Eliath, so hasn't been relevant. Now mute them, Chad. I try to never mute people. You have to be like really obnoxious for me to mute you when you stab me back in the proving grounds. I don't remember what the clutter or mockingbird deck you're referring to is that plays Zabu, so I don't have an answer to your question. You should definitely not be playing Zabu anymore. They killed they killed Zabu chat, gutted him. The cat the cat was officially spinned. Azar 
Mysterio. Yep. is like Shang Chi next turn into the Altar of Death Angela path. Drawing Enchantress would be nice. This would be a solid, solid place to be playing her. Should we expect Ultron from them? Yeah, maybe. Mockingbird makes Ultron less likely. Pump eat energy next turn. What if I do this? It could be ten. And then I could play Hit Monkey plus all of these. I already play Hit Monkey plus all those. I could play Enchantress plus all of these. That's appealing. big is this? this Man, where's their real Mysterio at? It could be metal. Yeah, I wonder if I'm not supposed to play for here and I'm supposed to like do this. Because this is only going to be six, seven, eight, or 6, 8, 10, that's only 12. 12, 18, I think, I think if I win, I have to play like this. I have to hope that the real Mysterio doesn't get us. <laughs> the real Mysterio to be right. played everything on the left it would have been 12 18 22 yeah i guess i guess we would have won if i would have jammed left it's just hard to know that they're only gonna have patriot as their last play instead of blue marvel i guess blue marvel would have also been fine here yeah rough that deck was fine strong guy seems like a real card there's a lot of instances where getting down to one card is real, and uh, 3-9 has been fine. We played him in uh, discard earlier as well, and it was all right. All right, game.